Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes And fire in your veins Hey guys and welcome back to my channel And welcome to my March wrap up So I have 10 books I Finished 10 books this month Pretty dang good And 9 of the 10 were physical books So I'm pretty happy I did better than in February And like I said, that makes me happy. Um, getting back into it, finally. Yeah, so the first book that I read this month was The Girl of Myth, the, the Girl of Myth and Legend by Giselle Simlet. Uh, and I rated this a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, after that, I read The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I ended up reading this also 4 out of 5 stars. Oh, I have no room to put anything down. After that, I read Kid's Cage by Victoria Aveyard, which I also rated a 4 out of 5 stars. Uh, I, only, I think I only had like one 5 star book this month. Eh, you win some, you lose some. So after that, I read I'll Just Glass by Amelia at Water Roads, which is the 7th book in the Dead of Shadow series. And I never said that King's Cage is the third book in the Red Queen series. So yes, I'll just last. Amelia at Water Roads, 4 out of 5 stars. After that, I read Poison Tree by Amelia at Water Roads, which is the 8th book in the Dead of Shadow series. I ended up only rating this 3 out of 5 stars. It wasn't the best. Wasn't the worst. Wasn't the best. So after that, I read A Wind in the Door by Madeline Lingle, which is the second book in the Wrinkle in Time series. This is my 5 out of 5 star read. I absolutely love A Wind in the Door. Uh, Wrinkle and Wind are my absolute favorites of the series. I know that hands down. Um, and yeah, loved this. After that, I read A Swiftly Tilting Planet by Madeline Lingle, which is the third book in the Wrinkle in Time series. Not my favorite one of them. Definitely better than the one I'm reading now, but... Yeah. It kind of, like, with Wrinkle in Time, it kind of goes, like, up, and then down, down, and then up again. I remember that much. So, after that, I read... Promises to Keep by Amelia Atwater Rhodes, which is the ninth and final book in the Dead of Shadow series. I ended up rating this 4 out of 5 stars and finally completed another series. Thank you very much. After that, I read The, Girls, blah, the Girl of Fire and Thorn Stories by Ray Carson. This has 0 0.5 through 0 0.7, so they are prequels to the Girl of Fire and Thorn series. Um, I ended up rating this 4 out of 5 stars, and I counted this as finishing the Girl of Fire and Thorn series. I had read the entire original trilogy, but I wanted to read the prequels before I considered it finished on my TBR. Like, on my bookshelves. And the final book that I read this month was Valiant by Holly Black, which is Modern Fairy Tales number 2. Um... I rated this a 4 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved this one. Um, and if it hadn't been for like a little bit of slow pacing and a little bit of confusing plot in it, I probably would have rated it a 5 stars. Highly suggest it. Unfortunately, with the pacing, it was hard for me to rate it 5, so I rated it 4. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. My voice is hurting. This is the most I've talked since I've gotten my since I got over laryngitis. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know down below what you guys read last month. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Because you were born with mischief in your eyes.